you say we do this? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Family and friends, we have gathered here at this time to witness the joining of this man, Jeffrey Daniel Cobb, and this woman, Daniel Marie Majunas, in marriage, and to celebrate with them the love they have discovered in each other and support them in making of this an important and everlasting commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in his or her entirety as lover, companion, and friend. It is therefore a decision which is not to be entered into lightly, but rather to be undertaken thoughtfully, and which is not to be entered in thoughtfully and reverently with gratitude for the past, hope for the future, and great consideration and respect for both the other person and for oneself. Jeffrey and Danielle have asked you to be here today to witness this celebration because each of you has given something of yourselves to their lives. Your friendship, support, encouragement, and love will forever be appreciated and will continue to be an important part of their lives. Thank you for sharing this important day with us. An Apache wedding blessing. Now you will feel no rain. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warm to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. Now go to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Marital love is one of life's greatest joys, and when combined with genuine living and sharing, the lives of each partner and infinitely day-to-day -day companionship, the joy of doing things together, or the delight in recounting the experiences of things done separately become a continuous and central part of what a man and woman who love each other can share. Marriage is a covenant relationship, not a contract. Covenant means that marriage is permanent commitment. Viewing marriage this way gives the husband and wife freedom. Under this covenant, they have a lifetime to learn how to bond together as one. It encourages, encourages the couple to know each other, giving them a lifetime to grow together in deep friendship, the beginning of a new commitment by the couple to work on their relationship for the rest of their lives. Marriage is the intimate sharing of two lives. It must not diminish, but rather should enhance the individuality of each partner. When we give ourselves in love, we do not give ourselves away. We do not destroy our individuality. A good and balanced relationship is one in which neither per person is overpowered or absorbed by the other. The deep knowledge of, a, of the other and a real understanding of the other's feelings cannot be achieved in a short period of time, but can only be developed fully with years of commitment, love, and trust. We are here today then to celebrate the love which Jeffrey and Danielle have for each other and to recognize, to witness, their decision to take each other totally and permanently into the bond of marriage these two people now have come to be united. Jeffrey and Danielle, your love for one another and your constant, continuous commitment to your vows will result in a marriage which is blessed, a peaceful home, and a relationship that will flourish. To family and friends, I ask all of you now to witness with me the expression of the deep love that these two individuals have for one another and the expression of their intent to commit their lives to that end. Jeffrey and Danielle, face John, please join hands. Remember this moment in time. For this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, lover. Now you shall say a few words that will take you across this threshold of life and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. Jeffrey, please be there. I, Jeffrey Daniel Cobb, do take you, Daniel Marie Majuna. I, Jeffrey Daniel Cobb, do take you, Daniel Marie Majuna. In equal love, as a mirror for my true self. In equal love, as a mirror for my true self. To honor and respect as lawfully wedded wife. To honor and respect as lawfully wedded wife. I promise from this day forward to be your faithful husband. I promise from this day forward to be your faithful husband. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. 
sickness and in health, sickness and in health. Love and cherish as long as I show you. Love and cherish as long as I show you. I, Danielle Marina Jones, do take you to Jeffrey Daniel Tom. Equal love as a mirror for my true self. To honor and respect as, law, as my lawfully wedded husband. I promise from this day forward to be your faithful wife. For better, for worse. Sickness and in health, love and to cherish as long as I shall live. These rings are an outward sign, a visible sign of the inward love. They seal the vows of marriage, and the signature bears witness to a written covenant. As the ring is placed upon your finger, you will repeat these words. Jeffrey, a token and a pledge of the vow made between us. A token and a pledge of the vow made between us. I offer you this ring. I offer you this ring. Let it be to you and to me and to all the world. Let it be to you and to me and to all the world. The symbol of the covenant of our marriage. The symbol of the covenant of our marriage. token and pledge of the vow of the vow made between us. I offer you this ring. Let it be to you and to me and to all the world. The symbol of the covenant of our marriage. As by these rings you symbolize your marriage bond. May their meaning sink into your hearts and bind your lives together by devotion and fidelity to one another ever-deepening love for each other, may you establish a home filled with the spirit, faith, truth, and goodness. Since you two have consented together in the presence of this company, I, by the virtue of the authority vested in me in the state of South Carolina, am so proud and happy. for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey Daniel Cox. Hey!